lot of people think economics is about money, but we economists think of it as a way of approaching everything in life. And the basic principle is, is, is trade-offs. We want different things, and uh, we'd like to attain as much of those different things as possible. In the familiar case where uh, a household is choosing how much of their budget do they want to spend on clothing or how much do they want to spend on food, what they want, if there was unlimited uh, uh, money, is to be as far as possible uh, in, in, in this direction. Obviously, they can't have that. So we choose some point as far out here as possible, some trade-off. Now, when it's a household making the decision, then the market system works pretty well if it's something like clothing and food to choose a point like this. But we as a society have to make choices as well. And when it has to do with things that are inherently outside of uh, the, uh, the marketplace, people get lost in this debate. Oh, the environment is all that matters. No, business is all that matters. And that debate is so sterile and so unrelated to grappling with actual facts, I think that we get caught in this uh, familiar uh, partisan uh, gridlock, and we end up at some idiotic place like here, when we could have more of both. For example, most of us want a cleaner environment, but most of us also want uh, uh, growth. And uh, there's some people who are so intent on a clean environment that they talk as if that's all that matters, and they don't really care about income at all. And there's other people who say, uh, no, no, forget those tree huggers. Uh, all that matters is business. All that matters is maximizing GDP. And we want to be down here somewhere. So the failure of our political system is we spend so much time in our corners shouting at each other. In this case, let's say environmentalists saying, talking as if all that matters is the environment. I want to move this way, this way, this way. I don't care how much it hurts business. And uh, people on the business side saying, I, I, we don't care about your environment. We want to move as far as possible this way, this way, this way. And ending up somewhere where we have a dirtier environment than we could have and less growth than we could have. Everything I'm saying, by the way, Almost every economist would agree on. This is not controversial. Take the Republican economists, take the Democratic economists. They would all agree that taxing energy is a better way of raising revenue from the viewpoint of efficiency, from the viewpoint of uh, the environment, from the viewpoint of, of uh, national security. But it just doesn't sound very popular. I mean, everybody's sort of against, against taxes, and you don't get a constituency for it. And so all I'm talking about is trying to make choices in the presence of trade-offs at the level of the national political system similar to what each and one of us does every day. I wish we would spend a little less time uh, just shouting at uh, these extremes and admit that we all would like all of these things, but we could be doing much better by focusing as voters and in the political process, doing what we do every day as uh, individuals, making the trade-off subject to whatever constraints we're given.